What's up, everybody? Coach Alec here. I wanted to be able to bring to you today just a shift in mindset to be able to talk to you about the difference between abundance and a restrictive mindset because it makes all the difference when it comes to your fitness goals, really any goals that you might have, whether that's financial, health, family, anything that you're doing, you're always going to want to have an abundance mindset over a restrictive mindset. And it's easier said than done, but when it comes to fitness, I'm here to help you out with that today. So the first kind of step that I want you to think about, or the first step that we're going to really, the principle of abundance is add before you subtract. This is going to be things like protein, add protein into your diet. Most of us are not getting enough or consuming enough protein in our days to actually build muscle, to maintain the muscle that we are trying to sustain while we're in a dieting phase. So adding protein into our day, water into our diets, just plain H2O, making sure we're not mixing in any Mio's or sparkling waters, just having regular water, getting extra sunlight, more movement, all right, making sure we're having an exercise routine and adding steps into your day, being able to just be active. If you're not someone that's already part of that 10K club, becoming part of it, making sure that you put an effort towards getting your steps in goes a long way of just making sure that you are successful in any phase of your fitness journey, all right? You're going to live more of a high flux lifestyle, high energy flux lifestyle where you're going to be able to consume more calories, which we all want to do because to be honest, it's summertime and we want to be able to have room for a beer and pizza, but also be lean and be able to have the body that we're trying to chase after. So having steps added into our day adding all that before you start subtracting things out rather than trying to think of all the things that you can do like subtracting and getting rid of all the carbs making sure that you stop going out with friends taking away the alcohol and the beer all these things that we want to actually include in our lives the things that make us us we don't want to just necessarily take away there is a time and place of course if you're in a dieting phase having alcohol is not going to be the time and place for it but we're not there yet we want to be able to add to our lives, live more abundantly before we start going into this restrictive mindset. This next step is create your perfect day. This is going to start with just creating a schedule because most of us, what, what are we grinding it out for each and every day? We go to our jobs, we have our kids, we, do we have time in our day where we're reading the books that we want to, where we're progressing and maybe taking the time to journal? to do flow, to be able to send a letter to someone, to just take the time to go to the gun range. Maybe you're someone that wants to just shoot their gun, go hit some balls at the driving range, whatever it is. Are you able to schedule that into your day? Do you set the boundaries that you need to with your family, with your friends? Are you able to take you time Time to fill your cup before you have to go out. If you're a busy mom, I know my mother was always a single mom growing up busy, uh, taking time to fill your cup before she has time to fill her kids, me, my sister, to take time out of her day to be with others. Do you take time out of your day to fill your cup? And then once you build it out, once you have your perfect day, whether that's wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, maybe that's journal, maybe that's read a book, go to the gym wake the kids up, go to work, however that's laid out. And maybe each day is different and you have to rearrange each day, create the perfect day or the perfect week. And then you just have to repeat it. That is your life. We are this life of consistency, of routine. We are creatures of habit. We love routine just as human beings. We thrive in it. And those that even say they love spontaneity, that they love the thrill of just the guesswork, they're not as efficient, as productive as they could be because humans, by nature, they love routine. So create the perfect one, create the perfect day, and run on repeat, and you'll have the perfect life. So step number three is find friends to do that with. Make sure that you're not alone on this. First off, you need, you need accountability. If you're starting off on a journey, you are not going to complete it alone. Doesn't matter... Any fitness journey that you do, you have to have support. You have to have support from if you have a spouse, if you have a significant other, you have to have support from your family, your friends. And this, 
this is something that can be one of the toughest things to do because I say find friends because you're going to have to lose the losers. It is what it is. You might be hanging out with people from your past that are influencing you towards the negatives, towards the things you shouldn't be doing. You are a conglomerate of your five closest friends and the five people that are around you. And here's the thing. Yes, in a perfect world, we change and we influence the others to change with us and we're all better together. But that's not the way the world works. Realistically, those other people hold us down. And yes, we should try to bring them up with us. Yes, we should try to influence them. And we don't want to necessarily negatively take them out of the lives. We're not starting matches and burning bridges, but that's where the boundaries come in place. This might be saying, no, I'm not going to the bar with you guys this weekend. Hey, can't get drinks after work. Hey, you know what? I, I actually have to go to work out this uh, on Saturday morning. I'm not going to be able to go to, to, to the golf course as early as you guys want. Uh, I'll meet you afterwards. You might have to make new friends. Find friends in the gym that are going to keep you accountable. They're going to look for your face on Saturday morning that want to see you are going to say hello when you walk in. That's what you want because those kind of people are going to motivate you and keep you keep that momentum going towards your goals. So lose the losers in your life. And it sucks to say that sometimes, but not everybody's good for you. So add before you subtract, make sure you create your perfect day and run on repeat and then find friends and run with them. All right. If you have any questions, if there's anything more I can do for you, if you have questions about how you can live more abundantly, less restrict restrictively, reach out to me. Click the link below, and all you have to do is click that. Click that. It'll take you to my link tree. You can find my website. You can find my guides. You can find my discount codes. Anything you need to know, comment, like, share with a friend, and I'll talk to you guys next week.